What's up, everybody? Welcome back to yet again another Midwest Madness episode. Uh, today, we're going to be doing <clears throat> we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, talking about uh, public land turkey hunting and some tips that I have for you guys. Um, this has been collected over my several years of hunting turkeys on public land and my successes and mostly probably my failures. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to talk about my five best tips for uh, turkey hunting, public land, um, primarily in the east. This, some of these principles could apply out west as well, but uh, I'm really going to focus on the uh, eastern uh, half of the United States, tips like that, that will help you guys be better turkey hunters. So stick with it, stay tuned, let's get into the video. So, um, I'm going to um, show you guys a little bit about uh, some public land turkey hunting tips that I have. Um, and one of those being, um, as I'm just pulling up my Onyx here, uh, kind of getting started. So I'm gonna show you guys on the screen here, kind of um, my first tip. And my first tip on public land turkey hunting is to always um, use access to your advantage. Uh, so access is key. Um, on this screen here, you'll see this is a, this is a piece of public that I hunted. Some of you, if you're familiar with me, you may recognize this, uh, but I don't live in Kentucky anymore and nobody I know hunts here anymore. So um, if I give up your spot, I'm sorry. But so I'm gonna show you here, <clears throat> this access spot is um, about probably two miles back on a gravel road. Um, and it's all the way back at the end. There's a gun range here that's closed during uh, turkey season. So it's not really, or closed during like hunting hours. So it's not really a, an issue. Um, but what I did, um, as far as this access point goes in general, um, you wanna be there early. So I got to this access, I think it was the second week of season. I got to this access point at like 4.30 in the morning. Um, and you wouldn't believe how many cars pulled all that whole two miles back all the way to be the very first one to the back of the parking lot. Um, but I was already there, so they all turned around and left, um, except for one friendly fellow who showed up right at the last minute. But, uh, you know, it's public land, what can you do? So I was here at 4.30 a.m. I was the first vehicle in the parking lot. That is huge if you're trying to get on these public land turkeys. That way, most people hopefully will avoid that spot. Um, or turn around and go find a different spot. Um, but being first and using access to your advantage is super, super key. Um, so this access point was a point that I had scouted. It's easy to listen to and it was easy to cruise up and down that road and listen for turkeys in the springtime, um, which is a huge advantage um, as far as access goes. You wanna be able to get close and you wanna be able to have the ability to, um, I guess, quickly pop out and um, move up and down a road and like check different points along the road uh, on public left and right hand sides, stuff like that. So your access has got a lot to do with that. Um, so that's my tip number one access. <clears throat> now, my second tip is to use topography. Um, so if you have on X, you wanna enable um, your topo lines on your map. Um, what that does for me anyway, is it allows me to take a look at the terrain features where I know turkeys will be at. Um, and then it, it helps you create a plan to go from there. So in this particular area, you'll see on the screen, um, there, this is a big, this is a big like creek bottom drainage. You can see this whole area, big creek bottom drainage, several ridges with, um, you know, small feeder creeks feeding into this bottom down here. Um, this is a big ridge right here. So with the topo lines, I was able to see that likely if I park here at this access, um, I ideally should be able to walk to the end of this field and hear all of these ridges in here and have a good idea of any turkeys that are down in this area um, and be able to make a plan and adjust from there. Um, so I was able to use topography to be able to listen to this whole entire uh, bottom system here. Um, which was super instrumental. Um, so that's tip number two. 
use topography. There's other examples that I could show you guys. This is just a quick video. If you wanna go more in depth, let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to go more in depth um, on other things um, as far as using topography to find turkeys. But you just wanna enable it and, and be able to see kind of what you're working with. Um, in this instance, a lot of times turkeys like to roost uh, in this part of the country, like to roost where there's water, there's creeks that feed all down into each of one of these ridges, little feeder creeks uh, with water in them all the time. These turkeys can roost and easily pop back and forth ridge to ridge depending on the conditions. So that's why I use the topography lines. I can see all of that in there um, and it's super easy uh, to tell where a good looking turkey spot might be. Um, and then my tip number three, is actually probably a tip. I don't know if it's you know gonna be controversial or not. But my third tip is um, don't overcall. I think a mistake that a lot of people make on public land is they overcall way too much. And you know, some places you may be able to do that. If your birds aren't pressured, whatever, you may be able to call your bird all the way to the end of your barrel. But in Kentucky, the particular areas where we were hunting, the public gets a ton of pressure, tons of people calling these birds year round. Um, and you just have to not call very much. Um, in this particular hunt, I'll show you guys here. So here was my access right here. And then I went all the way down. Um, we didn't hear any birds from the parking lot from like almost hunting time, right? We didn't hear any birds, but I was confident that there was some in there. And I only owl hooted like one time for the parking lot. Um, so I walked all the way down in here to the edge of this ridge line right here. And it's hard to tell on this feature, but um, there's a transition line you may be able to see right here. It goes from, there's oaks right here and then open hardwoods, and then there's really thick cedars for about 20 or 30 yards. And then it opens up into open uh, creek bottom terrain, right? So I knew with this, with this little transition line on this bench right here that there was likely gonna be some turkeys uh, feeding down in these creek bottoms or potentially roosted right in there. So um, I snuck right to the edge of this and I creeped down into these cedars. And when I got down into the cedars, I owl hooted one time and this turkey fired up right here. Okay, this is my setup right here. Turkey gobbled right there in that tree, like 70 yards away, I had to set up immediately. Um, and I didn't owl hoot again. I didn't make any other type of um, calling sequences while it was still early um, because I did not want to uh, bust that bird off of the off of the roost. And it, it's funny because there's more access up here on the other sides of, of these ridges. So as soon as that bird gobbled, every ridge sounded like there was three or four owls on it because all those hunters were owl hooting trying to make those turkeys gobble. Um, and there was a few more in the area, but this one we were right on top of them, uh, probably within 70 yards. Um, so yeah, don't overcall. That is super, super important. If you overcall, um, you could you could bust that bird. You could alert him to your location. The easiest thing, like in this instance, is just to lightly make some soft tree yelps, just enough to let him know. Say, hey, there's a, there's a hen over here. You know, um, whenever you fly down, I'll be right over here waiting on you. Um, and that's what we did on this hunt particularly. Um, just a few soft tree yelps uh, to let him know we were there and we shut up, didn't say another word. And actually we didn't even call once he flew down because we were so close that I feel like um, we didn't really need to make any kind of calls. We, we yelped in the tree just a few, few times to let him know we were there. And as soon as he flew down, he pitched down right in our direction, started strutting like 50 yards away. Um, so don't overcall. Overcalling can usually hurt you more than it helps. Um, so that's tip number three. Tip number four is don't be don't get like uh, don't commit to one spot. Um, you don't want to get uh, committed to one spot and not move, and there not be turkeys in the area um, or things like that where you may potentially spend your whole you know, opening weekend or something trying to get on turkeys that just aren't there or aren't cooperative. Um, one thing I definitely suggest is picking out some different areas. Um, you know, So in this particular instance, in this past spring, I had uh, two big tracks of public, several thousand, eight, each of them were at least like 2,000 acres, I believe. Um, and I had both of them picked out, each of them was about they were probably two hours apart from each other, but one was an hour north of me, one was an hour south. Um, and that's probably not even enough, really. 
but I knew that by going north and south, you know, those, those turkeys could be in completely different moods, um, plenty of land to still chase them on. And I was able to get on turkeys both places I went. Um, opening weekend was kind of a bust. I went to one spot, I didn't hear many turkeys. They weren't in the gobbling mood. So I drove an hour south and got on turkeys right away. Um, so yeah, don't, don't commit to one spot because if you commit to one spot, then you know you can put yourself out of the game uh, more often than not. And that's tip number four. And my final tip, tip number five, um, is to try your best to get inside the turkey's bubble. You want to get within, in, in, my, I, in my experience, in my ideal hunt scenario, you want to get around, you want to be within 70 yards of a public land turkey before you even start to call to him. Um, you know, if you locate him and he's farther away than that, that's great. But on public land, I feel like a lot of times, especially on pressured land, whenever you start calling to a turkey, um, they, you know, they've been called at a lot. They, they know a lot of the, they associate, you know, hey, if I gobble my head off at this turkey, then, you know, last time I did that, my buddy got shot, you know, something like that. So they they can be wary, they can be call shy in certain instances. So the best thing that I've learned is to try my best. As soon as I locate a gobbler, I check out my Onyx or whatever, and then I try my best to determine the topography, what the best plan of approach is to get within 70 yards of where I think that turkey is. And if I can close the distance without, you know, the thing is if you call to him, he may start coming to you. And then if you try to get within 70 yards, you may bust him. But whenever I locate a turkey, I immediately try to get a plan to get within 70 yards without making a call. Because if you can get inside his bubble and then make a few soft yelps, then a lot of times he's gonna be like, oh, she's right over there. I'm just gonna go right over there. And it, it's not like they're super far away. Um, and it doesn't really give hens the time to get in between you and the gobbler. So if you can get within 70 yards, a lot of times, just a few calls, you can, you can bring them right in on a rope. Um, and it's super, super, super helpful, I think. Um, and one of the best ways that I've found um, to get on public land turkeys. Now, you know, making the shot and knowing the right time to shoot and all that stuff is a whole different ballgame. Just to get turkeys in range um, on public land, that's kind of the way that I like to do it best. I think it's one of the um, best ways that you can uh, kill public land turkeys uh, consistently. Um, but yeah, those are my five tips. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me a like, comment, subscribe down below if you liked it, if you want to see more. Um, and if you made it this far in the video, drop your favorite turkey hunting tip down below. Um, it can be public or private land, I don't mind. Let's just help some uh, fellow hunters out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.